ASA Red Paper questions 34 and 35. Um, so these are pretty uh, sort of simple substitution sort of questions where basically you get the formula and you just apply it, having read through and extracted the appropriate information from the stem. So um, for question 34, um, if the Freud number of the moving dinosaur depicted in figure 2 were 20 and L were 0.2 meters, its stride length would be of the following closest to. Um, all right, so the trick here is just to recognize where you're meant to be looking slash um, where you can find the appropriate information for. Um, so we're trying to find this stride length. Um, the formula that they've given us doesn't mention anything about the stride length. However, figure one does. Um, so if you um, take uh, a look at figure one, we have the Freud number on the x-axis and this relative stride length on the y. So um, from there, we can sort of figure a couple of things out. So we know that our Freud number is um, equal to 20. So if we look at the x-axis, look for 20 and go up towards the curve. And at that point, um, we can figure out uh, what the relative stride length for um, that Freud number is. So um, where, where we've got a Freud number of 20, um, our relative stride length will be about six or seven. So for the purpose of this, we'll say that the relative stride length is equal to seven. All right, so now that we know the um, the stride length, uh, relative stride length, sorry, um, at 20, we can figure out the actual stride length because we know that L is equal to 0.2. Um, and that's just from the actual question. So if uh, we S, S on L is equal to 7 and L is equal to 0 0.2, we can sub all that in. Therefore, S is equal to 1.4. So the stride length is equal to 1.4 meters. Um, therefore, B is the correct answer for question 34. Uh, moving on to question 35. Um, if L for the dinosaur depicted in figure 2 was 1.2 meters, at which speed uh, would the dinosaur change from trotting to galloping? So um, from the stem, we know that uh, the Freud number when an animal uh, transitions from trotting to galloping is 2.5. So um, we can say, therefore, that our Freud number for this situation is 2.5. Um, and from there, we can just sort of sub all the numbers in, into its appropriate uh, places. So F is equal to 2.5. Um, L is equal to 1.2. Um, so therefore, we get 2.5 is equal to V squared on 10 times 1.2. Um, so we get 2.5 is equal to V squared on 12. Uh, v squared is equal to 30. Um, and V is therefore about equal to 5.5 because 5 times 5 is 25. Um, so 5 squared is 25 and therefore 5.5 will just be a little bit over that. So about um, 30. Um, so, yep, so that's how you figure out um, question 35. So the answer will be D for the question 35. And that concludes questions 34 and 35 for the ASA Red Paper.